So again, if you're using our databases online, they help you with citation. But if you're using an open web search, such as Google, you're going to get um, all kinds of different results. And there's a lot of different ways you can cite them. So one thing here is this is one of my Google search results. It's a PDF file that I found online. Um, and it's um, something that I really want to use. So I'm going to go ahead and create the new citation. Well, first is where is it at? Where did you find it? Well, I found it online. So I'm going to go with the website. And from there, it's going to ask you what it is. But it's not a web page. It's not an HTML text that somebody is writing. This is a scan of a document. This I have to actually look through to figure out what it is. So things I have that are clues, it does give you an issue, it gives you a date. Um, that says to me it's a periodical, whether it's a magazine or it's a journal, I still have to decide. Um, so what I'm gonna do to show you is go ahead and say, let's say it's a magazine. Um, show me what it looks like, show you how to evaluate, show you how to cite it. It's going to give you that information. But if your source is not a magazine, it might be a journal or a website. Well, we've already said it's not a website uh, because we know it's a periodical. Um, so the tone is serious. There's footnotes. Oh, are there footnotes? If you go to the end, yes, we're having some citations. Um, we do have end notes. That pretty much says to us that it's going to be a journal. So let's switch our information and say it's a journal here. Okay, so it's not in print. We are getting it from a website. So here's how we want to go with it. First thing it wants is the URL. That's so you can get back to it. Next thing is once is when did you access it for us is today. And then it wants article authors. Well, I have four of them. Um, you can add extras using the add another contributor button here um, to add just more space for it. And because I don't want you to have to watch me type, I'm going to go ahead and pause my video. All right, so I've typed in all of my authors here. Um, and so let's get back to finding the information. Well, it asks for the article title. This seems to be a periodical news brief of all about the same thing. So all of our articles, our article title is going to be up here. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste it in here. It does want to know page numbers. Um, so look at the bottom of the pages, just like you would for a magazine um, or a print, something you have in print to see page numbers. So I do see a page number here. Um, so I'm going to just find out how many pages it is. You can either look at this number up here, or you can look for the page numbers down here. It does look like it is all 10 pages. So I'm gonna just put that in there. It wants to know about the name of the journal. So um, just like if you're looking at a print magazine, if you look at the bottom of the pages, it kind of gives you an idea of what you're looking at. So this says a generation later. So this again is the title of the article. But just like with print papers, the odd and even number pages have different things. So this is the Center on Youth Justice. Youth Justice. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that as my journal name. All right, it gives you a warning here um, because when I copied and pasted there, uh, it's all caps. And if, when you do your citations, you don't want it in all caps. I'm going to go ahead and change that real quick for us. So I've gone ahead and changed the formatting a little bit so that Noodle Tools is happy. Um, the next thing to look for is a volume and issue number um, and a publication date. A lot of journals only give you one or the other. Um, so this one is giving me the date of December 2013. I'm not seeing an issue volume number listed. So I'm going to go with saying just December 2013. And then that's it. That's the information you need to go ahead and cite this particular source. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit submit. And there it is. It shows up right here on your list. So again, that's how to cite a journal article that you have found via open web.